welcome uh, in this lecture earlier part i will talk about the four vector formulation of electrodynamics uh, where is proved that wave equation in free space is invariant under lorentz transformation now this is the second part of uh, four vector formulation of electrodynamics so for that let us consider the equation for this consider tau dot j plus curly rho by curly t is equal to zero. So this is basically the equation of continuity. So now. let us define a quantity in place of this we will define a quantity j nu is known as four current density i got this idea from this equation because this contains special change in j and this is basically charge density is changing with time so as we know that x not is ct x1 is x x2 is y and x3 is z in the similar manner i will define this as j mu is equal to j not j1 j2 and j3 in the similar manner i will define j not as c rho into and this we call it as j x j y j z or i may call these as j1 or simply sorry not j1 but i call it as comma j vector so i got this idea from this particular equation so therefore this equation can be replaced or this equation may changes to a new set new equation and that equation will become mu is equal to Zero to three curly j mu over curly x mu. It is equal to curly j not over curly x not plus curly j one over curly x one curly j two over curly x two. curly j3 over curly x3 and this can be written as curly c rho over curly c t plus curly j x over curly x plus curly j y over curly y plus curly j z over curly z So it is curly rho over because these will cancel out. Curly rho over curly t plus del dot j. So that means the equation of continuity can be expressed in this form. That means 
in four vector form. In four vector form, equation of continuity can be written as equal to zero where summation mu is equal to zero to three. So this is the equation of continuity in the four vector form. Similarly, I can express Maxwell equations in these forms also. So for that, let us proceed further. I have considered two equations. Where we define Maxwell equations in the form of scalar and vector potentials. Consider Maxwell's equations which are expressed in the form of scalar and vector potential it is tau square phi minus 1 by c square curly square phi over curly t square it must be equal to minus 4 pi rho and I can express it as minus 4 pi rho c by c I can express it in this form so let me call it as equation number 4 and similarly del square a where phi is a scalar vector and a is a vector potential sorry it is a scalar potential and it is a vector potential and 1 by c square curly square a over curly t square is equal to minus 4 by c to j vector let me call it as equation number 5. These two equations I have taken from the book Classical Electromagnetic Radiation by M. A. Hull and Chevy Marion. In that book, this equation is equation 4.55 and this equation is 4.56. And the scalar and vector potential potential related to each other related to each other according to according to Lorentz condition condition and that is del dot A is equal to minus 1 by C curly phi over curly T or I may call it as del dot A plus 1 by C curly phi over curly T this is equation number 6 and this equation I have taken from the same book and uh, it is equation number 4.47 in that book. So what this equation will suggest? This equation will suggest or allow us to combine
scalar and vector potential scalar and vector potential into single pore vector form and known as four potential that means a mu written as phi comma a or phi a x a y a z or we may call it as a naught a1, A2, A3. So using this, using this equation, four can be written as Charles square minus 1 by C square curly square over curly T square phi is equal to 4 pi by C into rho C. It is basically the quadrilateral square phi is equal to minus 4 pi by C into J naught. And equation five can be written as tal square minus one by c square curly square over curly t square a is equal to four pi by c j factor. Tal square A is equal to minus 4 pi by C J so I can combine these two equations 8 and 9 also that is the square A mu minus 4 pi by C J mu where the mu will have value 1, 2, and 3, right? So this is the required equation. So that means equation 4 and 5 can be expressed collectively in the form of 4 factor form, right? So here, This is invariant quantity as we proved in the earlier lecture. And this A mu is called for potential with following transformation properties. That is A prime naught is equal to gamma A naught minus B by C A1. A prime 1 is equal to gamma A1 minus B by C A naught. A prime 2 is equal to A2 and A prime 3 is equal to A3. And equation 6 can be written in the four potential form that mu is equal to 0 to 3. Curly A mu over curly X mu is equal to 0. And in covariant form,
in covariant form for potential can be written as a mu is equal to phi minus a factor and in contravariant form we can write down a mu is equal to phi factor a so right so this is all about four vector formulation of electrodynamics and uh, thanks for watching this so that means we have expressed the various laws of electrodynamics in the form of uh, four vectors so thanks for watching this video